Okay, everyone. So last night was the last uh, antibiotic pill. And for about five days now, I think we've been doing exercises. So what I want to do is to pull in the uh, glucose meter readings that I've done over the past uh, week. Uh, I, I've taken them frequently during the course of the week in the antibiotics. So I have some data before um, the antibiotics before I called the doctor to say I was concerned about her high uh, blood sugar level. At w One night it was at, um, before she went to bed, it was up to like 368 and then it was starting at 175 even before she had breakfast. So this, for some reason, this can be temperamental. So let's see if I can pull in this data. Reading device, uh, sometimes it just says it can't read the device, so I'm not certain. Sometimes what I do is I unplug it and not certain if I have to plug in the USB cable first before I plug it into the device or whether I need to open up the software first before I plug in the device. I just try different combinations. Um, no data to display. Looks like this time it's going to take it. Yes, so I have some results. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is the one of the benefits of the Freestyle Freedom Light meter, and I'll be able to take these results in the next time we have a doctor's ap appointment. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't taking the glucose uh, readings as frequently as I was before. So, let's see. Let's take a look at from July let's see today is the the 20th so we can go from July 1st to today and display glucose model day report um, you have different Different ways to graph this out. Change report configuration. Uh, as you can tell, I haven't been in here for a while. Okay, so here we go. Um, this looks just like for 7.1 to 7.22. Um, <clears throat> this was on the 8th. Is that what that's saying? 7.8. Uh, let's see, um, glucose model, modal, glucose modal day report. Um, let's see how we want to graph this. And now I can change how this, uh, what I want here. Let's see here. References, data entry, reports, glucose average. Um, let's see. Glucose average. reports. Two-week glucose summary. Maybe that's be a better one here. All right. So I want to see a progression. How do I get to 49% within, 51% high uh, reports? I want to see how it's glucose average glucose line okay that's more like it okay so glucose line report you can see here we've got a reading here of 368 so I was correct in my memory so I call the doctor and we start because 
uh, based on previous experience and history, although um, there weren't outward signs, she didn't have a fever, but uh, based on what I've experienced in the past, and I think the last two times the doctor has just gone ahead and we've prescribed antibiotic uh, before we had to go through the trouble of getting a urine sample and then I'd bring it in uh, because I really couldn't do that. Uh, I can't do that now, even before my mother had the ability to get on and off uh, the toilet. It wasn't practical. It's something I would get in the bed uh, to get her going in, in a bedpan. So definitely you can see here what has happened to her blood sugar level after the week of the antibiotic and also cut back down on uh, the toast in the morning just one piece of one piece of toast and uh, she's been getting the Activia for lunch the sugar-free Activia and yeah I'm, uh, the only thing I need to do is start also smaller portions for the uh, supper or the dinner uh, I think I tend to give her too much so yeah as you can see here I mean this is something I'll be able to present to the doctor and yeah so definitely um, now this isn't scientific I mean I I've been doing I fell out of the habit so this is sort of a catalyst for me getting back into doing daily exercises with her so yeah any exercise is better than just sitting uh, in the wheelchair and so now doing a routine of exercises um, I used to do I think I was doing one period of you know 20 to 30 minutes but now I think it's probably better to do multiple periods of exercise shorter periods of time but yeah so again this is medical advice ask your doctor if you have any questions concerning um, your your loved ones or your the individual that you're concerned about their glucose uh, readings and how to get them under control again I need to start reducing the weight of my mother um, definitely the taking off some pounds will help again she's um, type 2 diabetes so she isn't full-blown diabetes, but type 2 diabetes long-term, it has a lot of detrimental uh, effects to your health. So get her to lose some weight, and hopefully this kicks me in the butt again to start doing exercises and getting the weight down and getting this glucose getting your glucose into check but you can see here in the past couple of days we've been in the green and the green here in the corner is within she actually had uh, two days with her I think her flat her absolute low is 108 right now uh, in the past we were almost asked the doctor if we could do away with the small amount of insulin that she takes at night because it was getting down to like below 90 in the morning but uh, she's within in the green now so if we can maintain this that'll be good and you can see here the purple is the high so she had this it was bouncing but you could see it was starting in the morning here let's see this is yeah we got off to a late morning this is 848 before breakfast and it was already at 172 here it was already at 180 so with breakfast immediately going to getting get into the purple so yeah this is um, this is a lot of help to actually visually see this instead of stepping through the information on your glucose meter so I hope you found this video helpful if you haven't uh, done so already please subscribe like and or comment and thanks for watching and stay tuned for hopefully more videos on getting my mother weight in check and better results here see if we can continue this 
this uh, this pattern here of glucose within range 180 yeah it was 180 162 I've been taking readings like before and after exercise also so let me end this video or I'll keep on going on um, appreciate you subscribing and watching thanks again bye